Hello my lovely friends. It's Tuesday and bringing you a scrapbook process video of my lovely London, um, not London, my lovely daughter True. <laughs> I've been doing so many of London's Instagrams, I guess I um, have kind of left True out lately, but I did True for a long time on her Instagrams and so it was London's turn and I've also been doing some vacay pics. So this one is just one that I took the other day. We were um, at dinner. She is 19 and she works a lot and she wanted to take me out to eat. And we went to Rockfish, which is one of our fave places to go together. I can always get grilled fish and eat really clean there and they're always so accommodating. And it's a good price. Uh, you can get the same thing at Papado's, but it costs about five bucks more per person. So it's always a better deal to go to Rockfish. And this layout just went together quickly. Um, I was very pleased with how quick it went. I've kind of been in a white background mood, still in the monochromatic, um, just kind of using a couple of colors on a white background sort of thing. So. I'm just going with the flow and sticking with that and I just kind of grab scraps out of my um, stash it just I had pieces left over that was I just kind of throw pieces in a box and pull from them to do my my layering and that sort of thing so that's what I did here and uh, I think the pebbles paper is the vellum I think I got several pieces of that in different colors and um, the backing is I want to say basil or American crafts cardstock so American crafts is my fave but I will use basil for a smoother texture and then I use the Maggie Holmes acrylic for the um, back side of that small uh, two by two that came out of the We Are Memory Keepers pro uh, Project Life or Pocket Life or whatever you want to call those little elements that I recently bought because I thought it added a little bit of nice watercolor to the background and um, yeah I didn't like the the adhesive showing through so I just rubbed that off and I'm just going through some various jelly bean and Ormolu and Webster Page um, stickers, label stickers, and um, I found that I just didn't like some of the bits and colors that came in, so I was trying to stay very true to the colors that I had started with, so that's why I cut off that rainbow color on the, thank gosh it's Friday, and um, yeah, this layout, I would say, was done in about 20 minutes. And here I'm trying to decide if I want to add some pieces from the Simple Stories ephemera pack, but I don't end up using that either because it's a bunch of bright colors. Um, I do add the date with my Recollections roller stamp. And I do end up journaling on this page, but I used a blush like a very light blushy pink and it picked up a little bit of that color in the tag that says awesome and it was subtle enough that it didn't overwhelm the page I thought black would be too harsh and here I'm adding a bit of the bow bunny modern miss brads and also some buttons from the bow bunny lemonade stand and with that banner, I'll just string it across the bottom with some cotton that I use on just about everything. I don't know why I bother to buy <laughs> different colors of twine because I always go back to white. I just think it looks clean and easy and I just like it. So I thought the banner added a little interest and I will finish up with some sprinkles of uh, Glimmer Glaze in Aloha Green 
and that kind of does it. Um, like I said, quick and easy. Loved it. And, um, you know, she's just a joy to my life. So it was fresh on my mind and it was on my phone. So I just printed it off and there you have it. I will talk to you later. I'll finish up with some pictures and uh, still shots. And at the end, there's information to my Facebook page. I would love for you to join and share your posts on the pretty paper page on Facebook and also um, ch you can check out my Instagram at True Lane or my blog at uh, truelanes.weebly.com so that's it have a great day ta-ta for now bye